Corita Brazil coming at you. YouTube back again with another review from Kendrick Leaf. Really excited to jump into this stick today. This is the Corita Brazil from Villager Cigars. Now, I haven't had a lot of cigars that were strictly Brazilian Puro. And this right here is all the way Brazilian. From the filler to the binder to the wrapper, all Brazilian leaf. And it's a good smelling stick. This cigar was wrapped in the Araparaca uh, leaf, which I've never had, and I, hopefully I said that right. And let me tell you, it's uh, it's, it's it smells pretty sweet uh, in a, on the body, as well as the foot. Offering light coffee, and just a sweetness, a sweetness of a like a Andes, Andes mint. That smells good. Definitely excited to get into this one. Brazilian Maduro. Let's go. That cold draw offers a really light nutty coffee and a bit of a bit of woodsy, woodsy notes on that. Let's go and light her up. First of all, let's go and remove this band off the foot. We don't want to light that. Stay right on off. Good to go. So far, really, really good flavors on this. Right away, picking up a raisin um, on the on the residual as it let the uh, smoke waft out. So almost immediately get that nice nutty nuance in this cigar. Nutty nuances, and you also kick up that raisin, like a nice raisin underlay as you let the smoke out. Retrohill offers a nice white pepper retrohill. Doesn't sting too much. Comes off as really smooth at this moment. The draw on this stick right now is, is really open. I did a straight cut and right now it, it's, it's pretty perfect. Doesn't have any restrictive flow. It's flowing really nice and getting very nice smoke plumes off of this cigar. So. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down a little bit more and update you here soon. This cigar reminds me of being in a coffee shop. And the reason why is because I'm getting nice latte flavors off of this stick right now. That oily bean flavor from the coffee grinds. It's all in this stick right now and it's so creamy, it's super smooth. Let me tell you, this cigar, you gotta get your hands on it. So much, so much, so much robust aromatic coffee notes on this stick. I'm going ahead and smoke this down to the second third. I'll be back with you an update. Okay, we're really uh, getting into this second third now. And honestly, I can definitely say that you get the typical uh, flavor nuances of, uh, let's say, a leather, um, that, that nice tobacco flavor. Um, 
but this cigar is not overly fussy. You know, it layers and flavors and coffee, leather, and there's just a certain nuttiness to it. And so it, it's pretty consistent. I wouldn't say this is a cigar that's super complex. It's just simply Brazilian. Brazilian Puro all the way. And it's a damn good cigar. It's definitely a cigar that I would recommend to friends. It's definitely a cigar that I would offer to someone who hasn't had a lot of experience with um, with cigars because the flavor consistency is just straight on with this stick. I think for one beginner could easily pinpoint the easily detectable flavor nuances of this stick. So a good one for the books. I'll go ahead and keep smoking this down to the final third. We'll be back. So getting into this final third now and that ash just doesn't want to fall off right now. It's holding on strong which is great. But I will say, as far as complexity is concerned, there's a little bit more to be desired there. This cigar has uh, remained pretty consistent as far as flavor is concerned. Tons of coffee, tons of leather, and that nuttiness was very consistent throughout this cigar. So for me, about three to four nuances in this cigar, so not very complex to me. But a solid stick, for those who just want to enjoy a nice stick. If you're just out and about doing yard work or just with company, perfect cigar to smoke. But like I said, complexity, not super, super complex and not over fussy, which is completely fine. There's nothing wrong with that. This is a great stick, an awesome stick. Again, a stick that I would keep in my humidor for sure. And if you didn't know, the Corita means bullfight. Interesting, right? Look at that. Perfect. So I'm gonna keep smoking this down. Enjoy the rest of this cigar. I wanna thank you again for joining me today in this cigar review of the Corita Brazil, Bob Villager. Thank you again for watching. And remember, be kind to one another and be kindred in the leaf. Until next time, we'll see you again. Thank you.